Hi there, this is Lee McQueen, and I just wanted to um, pass along some news from Bernie Sanders. I enjoy that uh, we are able to stay in touch with him and that he's staying in touch with us. This news concerns Monsanto. Um, it's a large mega agribusiness at the multinational corporate uh, evil overseer level. And um, they're also involved with biotech industry. And Bernie Sanders says that Monsanto has spent hundreds of millions of dollars trying to overturn legislation passed by certain states in the United States. Um, these states have made efforts to protect the food supply of the populations in their state from Monsanto and the genetically modified organisms that Monsanto wants to inflict on the population in order to grow their own profits. So, as I've said before in previous videos, um, our government, you know, has kind of fallen down sometimes. And so we have corporations circling our, us, or the people, like sharks, looking for an opening to devour us. Um, anyway, Vermont, Connecticut, Maine, and Alaska uh, passed legislation um, that has become law in Vermont for the labeling of GMO food, food that has been genetically modified uh, with organisms. In fact, they, uh, Monsanto is moving very aggressively um, against states like Vermont because that law has um, already gone into effect. Monsanto does not, does not want such legislation to spread to other states. They don't want other states getting the you know big idea that they should be protecting their own populations from genetically modified organisms as well. And so Bernie Sanders is saying that this legislation is very important because people have a right to know what's in their food. And this is true. Um, we have allergens labeled. We have calories labeled. Uh, why shouldn't genetically modified organisms be labeled? Um, it makes total sense. Um, so anyway, over 60 countries around the world have passed uh, this same type of genetically modified organism labeling laws. Um, and so the major agribusiness and biotech companies completely disagree because people um, shy away from food that has GMOs in it. It hurts their bottom line. And as I've spoken of with trade deals like TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership, and then TTIP, Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, any attempt by a government entity to pass legislation that harms the bottom line of these large mega corporations, they want the right to sue those governments for messing with their profits. And likely they'll win because that lawsuit won't be settled in our own court system. It'll be international tribunals that will lean towards the corporation. This is what we're leading up to. Uh, Monsanto is just warming up for the, you know, these trade deals. Um, unfortunately, um, they don't believe that people have a right to know what's in the food they eat. And so they're trying to overturn all that legislation, that right to know legislation that's been passed at the state level. And I've also said that our, our leadership in Washington is weak. Um, while in individual states are passing this legislation to protect their population, it is Washington, D.C. and the politicians in Washington, D.C who are attempting to betray us, you and me, the population, by selling us um, to these large corporations, undermining our ability to protect ourselves from these large corporations. Anytime there is any attempt at consumer protection, some food safety, public health issues, it is Washington that undermines states. This is what we're coming to. This is oligarchy at work right now trying to control our legislative body in Washington. Okay, so 
this is why um, we have to pay close attention because who actually introduced this bill on behalf of Monsanto? Well, <laughs> two senators, Pat Roberts, a Republican from Kansas, and Debbie Stabenow, a Democrat from Michigan. That's the lesser evil at work for you. Get a good look at that. The lesser evil, Debbie Stabenow, is assisting the Republican Party to sell our, our public health are very um, live to Monsanto. Great job. <laughs> but anyway, um, this bill is actually going to be coming up for a vote this Wednesday or Thursday. And Bernie Sanders is saying that it must be defeated. He is wanting people to contact um, their senators by email, by phone. Um, probably not enough time for a letter because of the holiday weekend, but um, please email or write or contact or instant message or tweet or whatever your senators immediately and ask them to oppose this GMO bill um, for you and for me and just to uh, keep our food supply safe um, because I, if it passes, are we even going to have a use for uh, FDA anymore? That's the scary part. Um, anyway, um, Bernie Sanders is saying that the goal is to deny states the right to go forward in this area and pass legislation um, with that has no concern at all for consumers. And um, Bernie Sanders is saying if there is no effort to stop them, um, that they might succeed, Monsanto might succeed, because Debbie Stabenow definitely isn't going to make any effort to stop them, and neither is Pat Roberts. And so this bill was actually introduced in the Senate with no hearings and no debate. It's a corporate-backed bill, and it was introduced by Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, a Republican. And so the legislation, Bernie, San Bernie Sanders says, is going to create confusing, misleading, and unenforceable national standard for labeling GMOs instead of uniform labeling standard like Vermont's law. Uh, and so it's just going to be a lot of gobbledygook designed to con uh, confuse and bewilder consumers. Um, and so Bernie Sanders is saying, no, no, unacceptable. Um, and then the bill um, actually imposes no penalties whatsoever for any violations of that labeling requirement. Um, and that makes the law meaningless. And so he's saying that this is a weak bill, it's full of loopholes, and without any uh, requirement to comply. And so he's saying that protecting our food supply is not controversial. Um, most people do. Uh, most uh, people in America actually favor GMO labeling. People have a right to know what's in their food. And so Bernie Sanders is saying that Congress must stand up to the demands of Monsanto and not capitulate to Monsanto and other corporations while they're at it and other multinational food industry corporations. Um, he wants people to reject this bill. And he's going to do his best to defeat it, but he needs our help. People who are concerned, people out here um, who um, are in favor of having healthy food, um, food, food that's labeled correctly and accurately and fairly. Bernie can't do it alone. He needs our help. So he's saying, please contact your senator today and say that you oppose the GMO labeling bill. States should be able to um, decide for themselves without multinational corporations even getting themselves involved in our political process. Um, this is how you fight an oligarchy. You call them out. You make sure you know what's happening. You observe and then you call them out and you say no, this far and no more. In fact, go back because you're too far. Take about 10 st steps back, back where you belong. So anyway, um, good luck with that. Um, just a heads up, those of you who are concerned about organic food, healthy food, food that you you can at least see, you know, what type of food it is and what's on the label. If you support that, then definitely contact your um, senators today. Okay, good luck.